Welcome to another episode of the Mullet Mustang presented by Turn 14 Distribution. It's time to see if these Stage 2 cams from Comp Cams are going to make some power with Sasha from On Point. Click on those buttons on our SCT tuner. you're excited as much as we are it is d-day for us with the cams i think they're gonna pick up a good amount of power dp you were saying uh little mid-range they're supposed to be good for like 35 on the top end but who knows i don't man. know about numbers That's but a big number i'm just saying sure. a they're... good amount of power they definitely don't run well right now with the current tune and the stock tune i tried both and i don't know how people on the internet say that these cams you can just dump them in there and drive around on the, the the stock map it just makes no sense like they are absolute poo under 3000 rpm and even after that it's the car is not happy it definitely needs a tune so we're gonna let sasha work his magic here and we're gonna stand by and watch it all happen i'm excited <laughs> it's not sounding good something's going on dp The dyno is not on, and that's a uh, a bad thing, isn't it? It is a bad thing. Yeah, we are chasing. <clears throat> excuse me, we are chasing some weird electrical problem, maybe. Yeah, we're, we're kind of sure. at a loss right now. The the car will load the the dyno up and yeah. then just goes dead. It's so frustrating because it's one of those problems where you're not sure what the issue is. Is it the coil pack? We tried switching those out. That didn't help trying the plugs now we may or may not be learning something there now i'm doubting whether you know the car running so badly was the cams or, or the tune that i said maybe i'm wrong and it, it's, it's some type of other issue yeah it could well have been we're, definitely, we, we're definitely dealing with an electrical gremlin of sorts here it's dropping like two or three cylinders yeah right yeah yeah for no reason so i don't know man i think it's time for a coyote swap <laughs> Hey Ford, you hear that? This thing doesn't Send run. Send us it's a coyote motor. Coyote maybe? The three valve is over. We're done with it. 2J Mustang? That'd be kind of oh, cool. Oh yeah. Well, when we originally swapped the cams, we flooded the motor and we thought, let's change out the spark plugs. So we ordered up some random auto lights, I think these are called. That's and, right. And uh, we figured, you know, let's change the plugs out. We had the old champions that we flooded. We swapped those in and now it runs perfect. And Pete noticed that the I don't know what this part is called, like the, uh, cer that's not the ceramic, like the electrode part back I here or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this part's like loose in the housing. Uh, we're not sure if that's the problem, there's like but three of them that are like three that. Three of them were all kind of loose. So anyway, champions are in there and it's running good. So Sasha was just uh, doing a little testing there, maybe too aggressively, but now we're going to actually do some tuning. Yes. Finally. Yes. Thank you, Mustang, for being good to us and fixing yourself. Pull. I'm, I'm just happy to see it make a pull after all the <laughs> crap we've been through with this car but I think Peter actually owes comp cams and the internet an apology for saying the cams ran like shit because once we got everything fixed maybe a bad ground maybe a bad connection to the battery maybe bad spark plugs she's purring like a kitten I do I apologize the internet suck it up PT so you apparently can run these cams yeah straight out of the box Sasha did a preliminary pull not changing the tune at all yeah and it made and good power it just it picked up I think like whatever 10 wheel, wheel or whatever it was yeah wheel, so yeah. It, it, it does work yeah so you can do that I apologize internet anyways where are we at DP give us give me some numbers well I think we're at the uh, 320 ish mark 315 ish mark I apologize so it's almost making 325 for torque and look at that it's looking good up there Uh, 
as they say the GMPT, we're making gains, bro. We're making gains. She's up to 325 at the wheel, which I think is a pretty sexy number. And as you can see, we do still give up some torque and some horsepower below about 4,300 RPM. But then above that, it's all gains, bro. And it's some big gains. I mean, we're talking... Like 30 wheel, actually, at 6,000. Yeah, 30 wheel. That's a huge, huge gain in, what, 20 or 25 foot-pounds of torque, too. Yeah. So that's going to really bring the top end of life at the track where you're always in those top 2,000 RPM ripping around the racetrack or at the drag strip. So this should make the car a lot faster. And I think we may find a little bit more as, as Sasha dials the tune in. That, but is, the, that is a question now. What's left? Sasha can find a little bit more jam. Can we get to that? And maybe we're going to increase the... Are crazy uh, now? Is 3.30 just like out of the no, realm no, of possible? No, too high. That is crazy. Am I getting greedy, Pete? Yeah, I think you are. And I think we're going to raise the RPM a little bit. Yeah, I like RPM. This thing is kind of a lazy lump. It only revs to like 6,200 stock. Uh-huh, I know. I think we're going to bump that up to 64 or 65. And that's about where VTEC engages on the S2000. So we kind of experience both worlds with this in the S2000, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Get lots of torque, torque and, and no, no RPM, torque. and the other one is all RPM and no torque. So, since we've been having some issues with uh, ignition, maybe we're not even yeah, sure. Misfire stuff, yeah. It's magically fixed itself, but we have these AEM direct fit coils that we figured we'd swap in now since it seemed like as good time as, as any to do some preventative maintenance, let's call it. I mean, these old ones have 250,000 kilometers on them, so let's just freshen things up. Should also point out that these are a direct fit OE style coil that delivers up to 15% more spark energy. So should improve the efficiency of the, the spark system. And they literally just bolt in place of the, the factory ones. So, you know, you don't have to do any wiring. You drop them in there. They're supposedly a perfect fit on a stock or lightly modified Mustang like ours. So I'm going to slap them in there and let's see if we pick up maybe a horsepower or two. If nothing else, I think we'll have a smoother, cleaner running motor with some fresh coils, and who knows, maybe we'll get some power out of it. What do you think, BT? Any predictions? Two horsepower. Two horsepower, okay. Well, let's see what we get. Well, no free horsepower from the coils. Not a big surprise, but still a good preventative upgrade. Yeah, we made the same power, so yeah, it's all, all good. good. We, won't, we won't have a coil crap out on us, we don't think. And as far as the cams go, our final gains are, are here and are pretty sweet above, say, 4,400 RPM. It's just all gains up to, what, 324 at the wheel and about, man, 328 or 329 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it's solid, so we're going to really feel a difference at the track because that's the, the part of the power band that we live in at the racetrack and on the drag strip, so this should really pay off into some pretty big gains around the track. I think the cams are a worthwhile upgrade, to yeah. say the least. Oh, we should also mention we got an extra, what, 300 RPM? That's right. We bumped the rev limit up to, what was it, 6,600? 6, yeah. 6,200, so got a little extra room to play around with, and the nice thing is these cams really don't drop off too dramatically in the top end. So we can we can use that extra few hundred RPM to, you know, keep us in the right gear around the racetrack or in the quarter mile. Might save you a shift. If Never a bad idea. Spacing yep. works out that way. We should also point out that Sasha did all the tuning with this uh, Advantage 3 software from SET, which uh, took a little while, I think, for him to figure out because he hasn't done a lot of SET tuning, but... He's, he's hoping to. Yeah, yeah. He says he's not ready to accept SET customers yet, but he's going to be there soon. And, uh, I mean, he was able to dial this in nicely. We picked up heck, we picked up 25 wheel and, uh, gosh, I don't know how much torque we picked up. Peak to peak, maybe only five, but area under the curve torque gains are massive, o over 5,000 RPM. So big gains really in the top end. And, yeah, we lose a bit in the bottom end, but who cares? It's a, on the it's street, a it's still going to feel it's fast. Still, exactly. So. I think, it's a, I think it's a cam worth doing if you're a track guy like we are. For the street, it might not be the right cam for you, but for, for our purposes, I think it's a perfect choice. So, got a few more tricks up our sleeve, PT, before we hit the track. So, uh, yeah, we may be back here at the dyno sooner than uh, we yeah, think. Yeah, I think we will be. And maybe a couple other little tuning things. I know you guys want us to space the steering wheel out a bit more, so got some stuff coming at you for that. So stay tuned, and we'll be at the track soon, we promise.
Welcome to another episode of the Mullet Mustang presented by Turn 14 Distribution. Not just pointing at my boobs here. Let's try that again. 